So the Unreal Engine comes with path tracing and lumen engine. And while path tracing is really good, it takes a lot of time to render even a single frame. And so lumen is the answer from Unreal Engine in terms of real time rendering. And if you know the right settings to turn on and the things they care about, you can really make Lumen look very close to as good as path tracing. Now I'm not saying that the path tracing is in any way not better. In fact, path tracing is better, especially for organic objects and such things as skin or plants will actually look kind of better in path tracing. But Lumen Engine can get really close to the path tracing results. And if you are making, let's say, an indoor architecture animation or just a car animation, maybe you are just working on motion graphics, then actually Lumen serves a better purpose as it takes significantly less time to render. But for you, Lumen to be utilized fully, you do need to understand few specific settings that you need to take care about. Without you knowing about these settings, you won't be able to actually reap the most out of Unreal Engine's Lumen. And so, in this video, I'm going to give you some of the most important render settings for Lumen Render Engine. Now this scene is the perfect example of showing how low light scenes can actually be lit up very well in Lumen if you know the right settings. And so there is no external lighting in this scene and so the first thing that I've done is to tick the Lumen and the method box under GI and then select all of these options over here and tick all of them now copy the first two ones and the leave rest of leave the rest of them to default settings now going to the reflections you also want to select lumen over here as well and then set the quality of the reflections to two keep in mind that if you decrease the quality of reflections to anything less than two it will actually reduce the quality a lot also set the reflection method to hit reflections this will improve the quality of the reflections significantly. The other setting that you want to turn on is the intensity of ambient occlusion. Just tick this box on as it will improve the normal maps quality a lot. If I turn this option on and off, you can actually look at the quality and I'll just demonstrate it how. So if I just turn off this, you can see that the tiles actually lose some detail. Also, if I decrease the quality of reflections, the reflections become extremely noisy and finicky. And this is not what we want and reflections are not that costly towards the computer hardware so you can keep that quality to two which is the max and with this you have completed the post processing settings now let's move on to the rendering settings so if you follow the post processing settings you will notice that the quality of the materials is significantly better and you can look at every single material very closely and you will see that every material has significantly better normal map details, ambient occlusion and a lot more details towards the shadows. Like look at this table wood material and the controllers in front of it. They look really realistic. And this is almost the same result that you will get from the path tracer. Obviously you are going to get somewhat better results but this is somewhat similar. Now another tip that I do have for Lumen is that you add extra lights but I will show you how to do that later on. But first let's talk about the render settings. So to change the render settings you need to click on the render settings uh, this tab on the settings above and go to project settings. Now once you open the project settings underneath the project settings there is the option of rendering. Once you do open the rendering tab you will notice that there are a lot of settings that you can turn on here. And what you need to turn on are a few things. First of all, you need to select Lumen in the global illumination, the GI, and then also go to reflection quality and select Lumen as well over here. And in the reflection quality, the actual capture resolution is 2048, which is actually quite high and you can leave it at that. Also, if your computer is dying at this point, I would actually suggest you to reduce this reflection capture resolution by half. So just keep it at 1248, 10248. Also, you need to tick this box as well. Now, if you are feeling a little confident about your actual computer capability, you can also turn on use hardware ray tracing when available. You can turn this option in general as well because the viewport will actually compensate for the lack of hardware and the final render will still look good. 
With that said, you can also move on to try and turning on ray trace shadows. This will significantly increase the load on your computer. But if you have followed my steps so far and you are decently okay at optimization, then you will not struggle. In fact, this whole footage is being recorded on a laptop with just a RTX 3060. So yeah, it's not the most powerful PC that I'm using currently. And I use this for most of my projects because I'm poor. But this is pretty much it about indoors lighting in uh, Lumen. Now, I do have some extra tips for you. For example, if you are, let's say, putting indoor lighting within Lumen Render Engine, you do need to keep in mind that unlike Path Tracer, Lumen is not going to simulate each and every corner of light bounces. It tries to do the same thing, but it doesn't do the exact same thing. And so even to make my scene look good, I have added extra lights around the scene and throughout the scene of the same color and somewhat up and down intensity to actually give the illusion that the scene is rendered in the path tracer. And as long as the scenery has not a lot of organic substances or at least not a character that has a skin, the most, most part of the scenery is going to look just as good as in Cycles or in Path Tracer. So that is pretty much it about the render settings. For Lumen to work properly, you need to understand that you have to keep the lighting that is favoring the Lumen render engine. Lumen works best when you have dramatic lighting. And so for example, that lighting which will cast long shadows is what you consider a dramatic lighting. So evening lighting scenes or maybe even daytime scenes can be made dramatic just by changing the position of the light. And I will recommend doing that as it will improve the quality of the render itself. It will make it more realistic and closer to photorealism. Now with that said, that is pretty much it about the Lumen Render Engine settings and how to make your Lumen renders look better. In the next video, I'm going to talk about some of the settings to optimize your cycles in Blender. So if you want to watch that video, stay tuned for that.